today we are going to discuss about the uh, one of the topic of economics that is the law of variable proportion now uh, if this question is asked in exam how to write this question uh, here the pattern is shown as well as the you will get the uh, little bit information about the law of variations law of variable proportion uh, it is not necessary to write all the matri all the things uh, shown in your you can precise it and write and present in the exam as it is first of all we will write the definition of law of variable proportion this law of variable proportion is associated with the short term production function and it is also called the law of diminishing return now we will write the law of variable proportions definitions the law of variable proportion can be defined as define as as the quantity of variable factor is increased keeping the quantity of others factor constant initially total product increases with increasing rate but after a certain point total product increases with decreasing rate and finally total product becomes maximum and thereafter tp start falling what happens here here the here the written that to total product increases with the increasing rate means what increases but with the increasing rate suppose suppose the total product increases but with the increasing rate suppose from 0 it increases up to 10 here the change is plus 10 similarly from 10 it increases to 30 here the change is plus 20 now similarly similarly it changes up to 50 it changes no 60 it let us make 60 then there is a change of what there is a change of 30 what are we are looking here the tp is increasing here the tp is increasing 0 10 30 60 but at the increasing rate the rate is not constant here the rate is increasing rate is also increasing then after then after then after but after certain point total product increases with the decreasing rate increases with the decreasing rate means what here the 60 after 60 it becomes a 80 the rate is decreased now from 20 to 30 the gap between the 60 and 80 is just 20 which is decreased from 30 now here the 30 to 20 means what now it becomes a 90 here is the only a gap of 10 if if it becomes a 95 then the gap is uh, only 5 what does what we are looking we are looking that tp is still increasing tp is still increasing but the rate is decreasing rate is decreasing now assumptions you can uh, see that you can add two or three assumptions the state of technology remains constant at least one factor should be fixed and fourth possibility of varying the factors of proportion now we, we now we have to present one of the schedule of production and do clarifies the law of variable proportion which simply explains the law of variable proportion of uh, in the first column we will take the units of uh, variable factor and uh, then after the outputs and we will calculate the total production average production and marginal production and we will write the stage of production so as we in, we in this column we are increasing the unit of production uh, by each uh, by one unit in every step one two three four five six seven eight up to eight what you are looking here here the tp is increasing here the tp is increasing up to here here the tp is increasing up to here in the sixth point in the sixth point when the variable factor is six the tp becomes maximum up to here the tp is increasing 10 30 60 80 90 90 here you can see the changes is plus 20 from here to here the changes is plus 30 and the from 60 to 80 the change is just 20 what we are seeing in the first stage if we change the c if you change the difference between the tp the increasing the tp is increasing with the increasing rate okay and ap is calculated by dividing by dividing tp tp dividing by units of factor 10 divided by 1 10 30 divided by 2 15 60 divided by 3 20 80 divided by 4 similarly others and the marginal product so here the marginal product is calculated by the difference between the two tp difference between the two consecutive tp suppose here the 10 is calculated the above if the unit factor is 1 the factor of unit is 1 
then the tp is 10 if the unit factor is 0 then the tp will be 0 so 10 minus 0 10 30 minus 10 20 60 minus 30 30 80 minus 60 20 90 minus 90 10 sorry 90 minus 80 10 90 minus 90 0 80 minus 90 minus 10 and 60 minus 20 minus 20 the stages are the uh, stages is divided uh, now the this the result of uh, uh, law of variable proportion is divided into three states here uh, where you can if we uh, we uh, if we find a p is equals to a a m m p then that will be the first state up to that that will be the first state here the a p is equals to m p 20 is equals to 20 so up to here this is the first stage why because the ap remains increasing in this stage throughout this stage the ap is increases and then after the ap decreases and marginal product becomes zero up to uh, unless and until becomes the marginal product zero this is the second stage and after that in the third stage the marginal product becomes negative in the first stage the ap is increasing ap is increasing and in the second stage the marginal products becomes zero and third stage the in the third stage the marginal product becomes negative so you can we can see the curve here and the curve is plotted plotted from the uh, schedule so it is very easy to plot and the the maximum point where the mp the marginal product is a maximum we call the point of inflection and the, here the the first stage is uh, differentiated okay this is the first stage and this is the second stage and this is the third stage um, here the ap ap average product is maximum and this is the differentiation of this differentiation point of stages one and two okay here the ap is maximum the uh, this is the uh, the part the part towards the left is uh, stage one and after the towards the right is stage two okay here the mp becomes the zero okay this is the is the unit four to six is the stage second and then after uh here the tp also becomes maximum when the mp is uh, zero the tp becomes maximum and after that the tp starts falling and uh, in the third stage the tp starts falling as well as the marginal products becomes negative now here the different stages are explained uh, let's see the explanation stage one is also called the stage of increasing returns in this stage total product increases with increasing rate per unit change in the variable factors it is because of proper utilization of fixed resources and specialization of the variable factors the point where the tp changes its slope is called the point of inflection here the point of inflection is the point b here the point of inflection is the point b because in this point the tp the curve of tp changes its slope and this is just straight above the straight above the maximum point of the marginal point marginal product <laughs> The point where the TP changes its slope is called the point of inflection. At this point, marginal product becomes maximum and it starts falling gradually. Average product AP also increases throughout this stage and hence this stage is also called the stage of increasing returns. Why this stage is called the stage of increasing returns? This stage is called the stage of increasing returns because the average product, the average product remains increasing throughout, throughout this stage. In this stage, the average product becomes maximum and then after in the second stage, then after in the second stage, it starts falling. This stage ends when the MP and AP equals. When the MP and the AP equals, this is the equal points where the MC cars the MP cars the M AP curve. This is the point of uh, intersection is is the uh, point where the AP and the MP is equal. Stage two, stage two, stage two is also known as the stage of diminishing return. In this stage, total product TP is still in, is still increasing, but with a decreasing rate. What happens in this uh, stage? Total product TP increases, but with a decreasing rate. The rate of increasing will decreases. In this stage, AP starts falling and lies above the marginal product. Both AP, MP, and AP slopes negatively. 
mp becomes zero but a p is still remains positive the point where mp is zero tp is maximum this stage is also called the stage of diminishing returns because ap decreases in this stage average product uh, decreases in this stage that's why it is known as the stage of diminishing return third stage stage of negative returns because the marginal product is negative in this stage in this stage the total product is start falling here the total product is starts falling due to increase in variable factors because there is over utilization of the fixed factor and breakdown of relation between the fixed factor and the variable factor the average product continuously decreases but remains positive and above the mc curve the marginal product continuously decreases and becomes negative this stage is stage is called the stage of negative returns because marginal product of variable factor is negative this is the simple explanation of what it is. all the three types of the stages of law of variable proportion we can explain the uh, these stages by observing the curve okay whatever we are looking in the curve diagram i have explained these things in the uh, stages inside the stages okay now a one more, more more probable question can be asked from this is which stage does a rational product producer six is production process or uh, the question is saying that we rational producer six the which stage of production or which stage of law variable proportion so according to law variable proportion a rational producer will not seek the stage uh will seek the stage two for his production okay will seek the stage two for his production process a rational producer will not seek stage one because the average product is increasing throughout this stage if the producer stops before ending of stage one then there will be under utilization of fixed factor and hence it is not possible to recover the cost incurred for the production and hence the rational producer won't stop in this stage okay what we have seen what we have observed in the schedule we observed that the average product is increasing throughout this stage first stage throughout the first stage the average product is increasing if the producer stops there then then the producer will not utilize the fixed factor there will be the under utilization of the fixed factor and he may not uh, recover the cost incurred for the production so there will be the chance of loss occurring the loss for the producer so the producer will not seek for the first stage now producer will not seek the seek the stage 3 even because the marginal rate of production is negative and hence the total production starts falling in this stage there is over utilization of fixed factor and breakdown of relation between the fixed factor and the variable factor hence this stage is not beneficial to producer because in this stage the tp total tp starts falling and which is not beneficial uh, to the producer so the remaining stage is the second stage and it is obvious that it is obvious that the second stage is uh, the producer seeks the second stage for the production process why why let's see it is very clear from the above explanation explanation stage one and stage two is not beneficial for the producers so it is obvious that the rational producer will choose the stage two why the stage of diminishing return okay the rational uh, producer will choose the stage two that is the stage of diminishing return because the fixed factor are fully utilized and cost incurred for the production is e easily recoverable in this stage what happens the fixed factors are fully utilized and the cost incurred for the production is easily recoverable when the fixed costs are fully utilized fixed factors are fully utilized then 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 the cost incurred for the productions can be easily recoverable recoverable also the total product increases and becomes maximum in the second stage and the marginal product becomes zero hence hence the rational producer will seek the stage two for the production process this is all about the uh, information related to law of variable proportion if you like this video then suggest for the more video i will try to make a video on uh, your suggestion as per your suggestion and uh, so if you like this video give a thumb up and uh, you can also comment in the comment section and give your give the feedback related to video thank you